Hi guys, I'm Alex, I'm the manager here at Jupiter Shooting Sport. And what we have here is gonna be your APC-9 Pro from the limited series that BNT makes. We're gonna go ahead and start from the front to the rear of this firearm. First, obviously, for you safety freaks out there, make sure the gun is clear. What we have here is gonna be your 6.7 inch barrel with a trilog attachment. You're gonna have your little bit of M-Lock slots here for whatever attachments you choose to put on this gun. It is fully ambidextrous, meaning the uh, bolt release and charging handle, and as well as the uh, magazine release are all ambidextrous. This is their new aluminum lower. It is a BNT lower, not a Glock lower. We can get them in, I believe, SIG and Glock lowers. What we chose to go with the optic on this firearm is gonna be your Trigicon MRO with the supplied Trigicon mount that it came with. It does have a flared magwell as well. It does help a little bit easier with the reloads and finding that magazine well. What they chose to go, now the awesome thing about this one, I don't know if you guys, um, your typical BNT triggers, they're not bad triggers, but they are a little bit heavy. What they chose to put into this limited series is actually gonna be your flat face Elfman tactical trigger. This is a very light, about three pound trigger. The reset is very crisp on that, it's very nice. So what B&T decided to put on this limited pro series is actually gonna be your new folding adjustable telescopic MDT stock. Um, this guy is adjustable, meaning you can definitely make it longer, shorter, folds, and it's got a three point adjustable cheek riser. And they did decide to go with the QD, um, QD mounts on both sides of this firearm, making it a really nice feature. Super small, super compact. Being that they did go with this particular stock on this gun, it is an SBR, so it will require um, a form four and some tax stamps. I think they did a really good job with this firearm. It's definitely a unique firearm. Um, B&T seems to be getting a lot popular over the years. It's a pretty straightforward firearm. I believe I've gone over pretty much all the features that this thing has to offer, and I think it is pretty sweet. Um, definitely let us know what guns you guys would like to see be re reviewed in the future, what you like, didn't like about videos, and remember to please like, subscribe at the bottom. Thank you.